Aha. Yep. Hey, this is Kraus. Welcome back, everybody, to a new Minecraft Let's Build. Just sit back, relax, and enjoy. If you guys do enjoy this, make sure you leave a like on this video. And if you do so, spank you very, very, very much. But ladies and gentlemen, once again, thank you so much for the fantastic support on the latest Let's Builds. You guys are making my day. And it's a joy making new houses. So thank you, thank you, and spank you. Previously, we've made this beach house. And um, some people did build it, and they did share the pictures on my Twitter. And oh boy, this place with an ocean view looks absolutely stunning. Over here, not so much. But if you want to build it, it should be linked in the description below the video, so do check it out. We also done that this in one of the latest ones. We've done this really simple modern house, and then we've done like two pretty much starter houses, and all of them should be linked in the description. Look into my eyes, nothing but my eyes. Today, we're going to be doing a house which I found on the interwebs. Oh, that's hot. That's hot. That is such a nice house. The only problem is I only have an image on the front, which means we're going to be improvising the back part a little bit. And materials we're going to be using mostly are as followed. Smooth quartz, blocks, slabs, and stairs. We're also going to be using light gray concrete powder. Don't ask me why, I love the texture of it. We're also going to be using stripped oak logs. We're going to be using black stained glass, black stained window penises, oak planks, and a teeny teeny bit of sand. This is just in the beginning stages. We're going to be building this on the default resource pack and the shaders I'm currently using are called Silder's Vibrant Cheers version 1.18 high dot zip. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get to it. Three, two, one, and poop it down. <laughs> Just gets better and better each time. <laughs> Give me a break. We clap on the first block, okay? And count one, two, three, four, then dig down. One, two, three, four, and five, and fill that with the concrete powder, like a so. Get back to the smooth quartz and make a pillar. Then dig one, two, three, and four, and fill that with the concrete powder. Then using smooth course, let's make a wall, which is 11 in width. One, two, three, four, and 11, counting with Keralis. Looks something like this. Then using the stripped oak logs, let's do one, two, and three, and one, two, and three, uppers like this. So you should be having this shape. Let me see, like this. And back on the smooth course, so just make sure you have three blocks from this side and four blocks from this side, right? But let's start in this corner and count. One, two, three, and four. Then we're going to be using quite a bit of concrete powder because we're going to have a window which goes all the way through the structure. So let's start in the far end over here and let's dig down. One, two, three, and four and fill that with the, with the concrete powder. Now turn and count with this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And fill that with the concrete powder. And we turn, counting with this one, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And yes, you guessed it, fill that with the concrete powder. From above, you should be having this shape. And back on the smooth course, so let's continue here. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Dig down one and two, fill that with the concrete powder, and then we're gonna have a huge wall. Make sure you spend a little bit of time, even watch this maybe two or three times, just to get the foundation right, because if you do, it's gonna be great success later on. And let's have a wall going all the way up here by 14 blocks in total. So one, two, three, four, and 14. Perfect. Now we turn, it's gonna be 11 going dead, counting with this one. So one, two, three, four, and 11. Then what we're gonna do, we're gonna jump in two blocks and on the third one, dig down. One, two, three, and four. Fill that with some uh, of the concrete powder. Get a pillar going over here. And this one is gonna be deleted and we're gonna get some concrete powder in that as well, because there's gonna be a window later on. Then counting, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, fill that with the concrete powder, which means if you have done this correctly, the next pillar block over here will meet up with those two corner pieces over there. So from above, let me just show you. I really hope yours lined up. If not, I'm sorry, I have failed you, young Padawans. But let's jump down and let's get digging. One, two, and three. Fill that with some of the concrete powder. Then using the strip oak logs, let's do one and two, which means this corner should line up with that wall over here, like a so. Turn it, one, two, and three. So that is four in total. And then back on the light red concrete powder. One, two, and three, like this. And counting with this one, there should be seven, which means that should meet up with that corner over there on the other side. So let's do one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and turn it by three again. So one, two, and three. 
So if we just check to the other side, you see like this corner meets up with this corner over here. From above, we are having this shape. Still a debatable shape again, holy crap. And then continue using the oak logs, place one, two, three, and four. So that lines up with that over here. Perfect. Then here in the, in the front, let's place one, dig down two for a front door, jump away, place one more log, and then dig down for a window. So concrete powder in that, and then two more of the logs. So there's gonna be a little main entrance to the house over here. Then we're just gonna to move to this corner, and we're gonna be counting with this one over here. We're gonna be taking this out by eight in total. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Jump away two blocks and place one, two, three, and four, and turn it in like this. Then using the smooth corsairs, place one and two but we can pretty much fill in the gap just so we get a little bit of uh, of feel for it there's gonna be a staircase going to a little balcony right and then just get one more pillar over here so that meets up with that wall and it meets up with that pillar on the other side so this is the main foundation like if you get this correct you're set for the rest of the house it looks something like this from above Next, let's put in some window penises. So let's get a penis over here and one over here. This is going to be acting like a little sliding door of some type. Now using the full glass blocks, let's get a perimeter just above the, the concrete we just placed. And obviously, like if you're playing this without shaders, this might be too dark using the black ones. So just use normal ones. This is going to work as fine. Same goes for this. Same goes for this. So one, two, three, and four. And that's going to be a little like side window to the house over here. Then we do one, two, three, four, five. And let's have maybe a little gap for a door. One, two, and three. And then pretty much fill in this gap here as well. We're going to be shaping out more windows later on. But this is the main windows of the house. So from above, you're having this shape. And then, no and then. You know what? Before we rise the walls, let's do some floor pre-planning. Let's go over here and let's get some smooth court stairs put in. There's going to be a staircase going to the upstairs. So let's do one and two like a so. Behind that, put some smooth courts like this. Then we're going to dig down a little bit. Let's do this, this, this and that. And fill that with a smooth concrete. You might be, but what is happening? Don't you worry. Then some uh, black stained glass or whatever glass you prefer, right? And behind here, let's uh, dig out all this grass and put some sand. I know it's a crazy idea, but uh, this is going to look quite snazzy, believe me, alright? Like this. You know, I think I might even change that. Let's see here, what type of glass do we have? Glass, we have the clear glass, light grey, maybe even light grey on the inside. So let's get light gray here instead for the, for the black one, like this. Then the rest of the floors over here, I'm going to be using oak planks, but once again, use whatever you prefer, right? But on the outside, let's dig out this area as well. So this area is going to be dug out, like all the way in between here and all the way over here. Then it's going to be filled with the, with the, with the concrete powder. So let's dig out this area, fill that with the concrete powder, and let's uh, dig out this area and fill that with the oak planks to begin with. So see you in a bit. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, it's taking shape. Slowly and painfully, but it is taking shape. Next up on the agenda is to rise up all the walls by three blocks. Counting four with the ground ones. So one, two, three, and four. And that, that includes the window parts, the panes over here. Let's maybe not touch the staircase nor this window for the moment. But the, but the oak log is going to be four, all the glass parts, all the coarse pillars and whatnot. Obviously, the staircase is going to be a little bit different. So let's maybe do this on camera. So one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four, like this. And let's see. So if I place a staircase, placing a staircase, and this ends up on the fourth one, which is kind of perfect. So let's maybe just fill up this, just in case something bad would spawn. I don't think it will, but just in case. And let's get this four in total counting from the ground.
Ladies and gentlemen, we have walls and they are currently four in height counting from the ground, right? And for those wondering what this is, this is, I don't know, a place for your trash bins, bicycle, but you might be, hey, there's no bicycle in the game. Hey, 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 don't be mad. It's only game, right? So why you have to be mad? You can put a minecart and you should be fine. But let's move on to the side and let's get over here and let's get the staircase in. So let's put the uh, coursers one and two and I think I'm going to use, let's see here. Let's change that glass. Let's change that glass to like just clear glass. Might not be the best glass, but let's let's try this out like this. And also let's maybe delete two layers of this. I'm not sure this is going to be the way to go, however, but let's see. So the two first layers of the glass over here are going to be just clear glass. We might tweak that later on, but for the moment, let's do this. And then, and then I will do something like so. I'm going to get a stone, for example. I'm going to put it over here. Oh, achievement. Amazing. And then uh, coral, coral, coral. You know where this is going at this stage? Just one layer of water all, all the way around over here like that. And then get some coral. And over here, maybe one just here and a tiny, tiny one over here. That's perfect. That is actually. Oh, by the way, wasn't there like, uh, what was it? Cucumbers? No, gherkins. What the crap? There's something in, uh, in, in, um... oh, seaweed. Seaweed is a thing. See, I haven't played Minecraft since... There we go! Sea pickle! I haven't played Minecraft since this was added, so I have never seen this in action. Ooh! That's an interesting sound it makes. And then get maybe some seaweed here in the back, like this, maybe one over here. And then, beautiful fishes! Because there's a thing in the game now, right? See, I haven't been in the game for quite a bit of time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, it's a little bit crowded. Doggy dog. Survival of the fittest in here, right? And then we just pretty much fill up the top layer so they would have more, more place to swim on or in. Like this. And ladies and gentlemen, we have uh, we have an aquarium. Abort! Abort! Okay. We Gucci? No, still no Gucci. Calm down. Calm down. Don't panic. Situation under control. There we go. I fixed it. We're going to put a layer, which is one, two, three, and four, all the way to the to the end here. And we're going to have a big, big platform. Like this. And then I guess we can use one and two of the quartz blocks. And we're going to be turning the staircase over here. Uh, okay, maybe not. Yeah, that is a thing. Boom and boom. Ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be our staircase. Uh, it might not be the fanciest one you've seen, but uh, it includes a little aquarium. So, I mean, hey... Give some credit for that, I guess. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so I tweaked it. I removed the clear glass and used the black stain. It looks much better from this side. However, on the other side, we're still using the, the clear one. Oh <laughs> yeah. Stiffy nipples Batman. I love it. And then, let's just take a peek at the, at the picture. Uh, so it has some type of a wind over here. So let's jump away. One, two, three, and do one, two, and three, and four maybe, and get some window in here. Like a saw? Like a saw. And also, let's maybe do the same on the back. So we have this wall, and that is one, two, three, four, and five. So let's maybe do a window, which is one, two, three, four, and five, all the way across here. You might be, but, 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 there is no buts. And that is about what it comes to windows, I guess, for the moment. And up next on agenda is to get the second floor in. So let's start over here on those uh, oak logs. Rise them up by one on those four and stop. Then let's move to this corner and using smooth course, place one here in the corner and take this all the way across to the other side. Like this and take it out by two more blocks outside this wooden structure. So one and two, it looks something like that. Then go all the way to the, uh, to the glass part over here and one block over, boom. And then if we've done this correctly, this should line up perfectly with those wooden logs over there. Not too shabby. Then move back to the corner we started. And let's go. Let's take this all the way out. Over the staircase. And all the way. To here. Next up is to fill in all the gap over here with the smooth course. Well, obviously not in the staircase. So let's rise this up uh, like this. Let's get two more staircases or stairs in like that. Maybe even turn it or bend like Beckham. And uh, the rest of the space will be smooth course. So let's get to it. Ladies and gentlemen, it's taking shape. We have ceiling, we have roof. Let's do the same on this side. So let's move over to those old clocks over here and rise them up by one. 
and let's do every single one of them on this side. Then, using smooth chords, let's take it out by eight blocks from this one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, which means the eighth one should be lining up with the dead wall. And now it is pretty much easy mode. We're gonna take this all the way to the far end. We will turn over here, take it all the way to the far end like this, and turn it and take it all the way, which should mean that we're coming kind of in between those uh, wooden logs like this. So we have one spare on this side, one spare on the other side. And pretty much the same goes for this. Let's fill that in, all this gap with the smooth quartz. It's gonna be very white on the inside, but it is what it is. It's pretty. Like so. Holy crap, I love this fish tank. I've not yet seen this in Minecraft, so it kind of makes me, I don't know, moist. It's beautiful. Let's maybe finish the staircase. So let's get uh, one more elevation of course set up like this and then let's get some stairs going. Um, let's delete that. Maybe we can have like a little shape over here. So bend it like Beckham, go all the way to this side and bend it once more on this side. Perfect. Hopefully you guys can see what's, what's happening. Let me just connect up those like this. Can we still use the staircase? Yes, indeed we can. And let's make a little pathway on the upstairs. So let's maybe go from uh, like this. So we're going to leave like one block away from this pillar. And then it's going to be like three in width. Well, four counting with the stairs, I guess. So one, two, three, and four from above. Looks something like this. And then we're going to have like a huge window going on this side and a huge window on that side. But that is pretty much the staircase. Now we need to figure out the front over here. So let's look at the picture. We do have like the white part that goes up, then we have the window and the wood continue. So let's do, let's do this. Let's rise this up by one, two, three, four, five, maybe in total, one, two, three, four, and five. Then we would have, uh, maybe take it in by one. Because otherwise it's going to look a little bit bland just having here, it's going to be like, nee. let's do this, let's take it in. Uh, by one so we will have a window in the far end like this four in height using the black stained uh, glass and then getting the stripped oak logs let's do one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten and take those up by one more and turn it over here like this and yeah let's get all those guys up to four in height we'll see how this looks do the same on this side so four in height in total counting from the from the whole like uh, floor elevation like so and if i would go to this side let's do the same on the other side however this side is going to be a little bit uh, different right because this side is going to be on the inside of the house you will see right it's going to be looking a little bit strange maybe having a window over here but uh, we will definitely see let's take this all the way across and over here so one two three and four and that leaves us five in room with not a huge room but i take it and then those guys go all the way here maybe and, um, or maybe to about here, because it's going to be a little doorway, right? How is the stair going to be going? We're going to be having a railing here somewhere about. Let's take it to about here for the moment. So we have like a passage, which is two in width. We go into this room. Perfect. And rise them up to four in total counting from the, from the floor elevation. Not sure about the oak logs, but I do love the color. Not the texture, maybe, but the color is definitely nice. So let's do the same on this side for the moment. Let's rise up all those wood logs to four in total in height, counting from the floor elevation. And we're actually going to do the same with all the glass. So the glass over here is going to be meeting up with the top of those, uh, those oak logs. It's going to be a huge window. We could even make this a huge aquarium. Hey, you know what? That would be possible. We could have water all the way in between here if we decide to make this platform a little bit thinner. Hey, 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 that's possibilities, but let's not. Not, not, not now. Like this. And then let's grab and let's make a little railing going over here. So let's take the, the, the black stain, the window penises, and take them all the way to about here. So we're going to be meeting on the second one. So as you see, if I place two full blocks of quartz, they have two on this side and there's two on this side. And this would be pretty much going all the way across over here, over the door. And let's maybe just stop it here just before the window. Something like this. Oh yes, ladies and gentlemen, it is taking shape and I flip and love it. Next, let's get some window panes here. There's going to be a little sliding door and let's do one, two and three maybe for this side. It's a pain to place those like this. And before we wrap the roof around, let's maybe go to the other side and let's make one more room. And by the way, from above, 
it looks something like this at this stage. But um, let's uh, grab the smooth chords and let's start in this corner to get in by one, two, three, four, five, and six. That means we have a two block gap for a doorway on this side and the same goes for this side. However, this is going to be going up to five blocks in total counting from the, from the floor. So one, two, three, four, and five. So it's pretty much one block higher than the, the logs we have at this stage. And pretty much just close this whole thing off like so. Then, this is going to be going the same as this shape as we have over here. So let's get, uh, let me see, let's mirror that to the other side. So first we're going to be starting one block inwards by using the logs, one, two, three, and four. Then we're going to have a window using the stained glass, same on this side. And then it's pretty much in the eye of the beholder how, how far we're going to take it out. Let's do maybe one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. That should do it, right? Do the same on this side. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. It's gonna be a little bit of smaller room, also with a huge balcony on this side. And let's rise them up to four blocks in height in total. Like this, so we have one block of wood, then we have a window, then one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven more. Like, you can make this room bigger, by the way, because this is going to be quite the oversized balcony, in my opinion. But anyhow, so here in the back, let's just get some uh, sliding door, sliding wall. Hey! Why you have to be mad? It's only game. It is what it is. Doesn't have to be like super pretty. Then let's get a railing going. Let's place it maybe. How did we do on this side, by the way? We placed it just on that end. Okay, let's do the same over here. So let's place one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe. And then one, two, three, and four. And then just loop, loop this railing all the way around to the back, all the way across. And the remaining part all the way to the wall could just be, I guess, uh, window penises like this. I like that. Let's keep it. One thing we also could do is demolish this, just in case we want to have a bigger shape over here. And the same could have actually been done over here. You could carve this out, since we do have the windows over here. So this could be carved out and looking something like this. It's all in the eye of the beholder, but I'm going to cover that up. Next up is the roof. And this, let me just do a little outline. So let's start on this corner and let's take it all the way to the far end. And maybe two blocks uh, from the wall like this. Loop this all the way around. And from this wall, let's take it out by one, two, three, and maybe even four, just to get a nice shape going. And let's take this guy all the way over the glass like this. And that should meet up with this side, doesn't it? Yes, it does indeed. We're gonna be doing pretty much the same on this side. So if I would take uh, this corner and take this all the way across and take it out by one, two, three, and four, from that wall, that means that should meet up nicely with the other one on the other side. Boom! And it does. And then this one is going to be meeting up with this corner. So it's kind of coming along, the little puzzle over here. And boom! Ladies and gentlemen, something like this. And now, let's just cover them up uh, using the, the smooth quartz. I guess it kind of looks like the picture. At the end of the day, it is Minecraft, all right? Next is uh, get this glass up. So let's uh, let's meet up with uh, with the roof elevation like this. Let's do the same on this side. Oh crap, we kind of forgot to take this up. But this should be going all the way, so it kind of meets up with with the with the roof layer. Kawabanga, something like that. Next up is to get it up one more layer. So it's gonna go all the way around here like this, all the way above that. We're gonna be turning taking this all the way over here and then we're gonna pretty much just fill in the whole gap over here and that is gonna be looking quite snazzy even with the aquarium it's adorable but let's just fill in the gap over here from side to side ladies and gentlemen not too shabby i kind of like it it's kind of like living in a big aquarium i guess and i did see that we haven't really fixed the staircase so let's go up over here and let's um, let's fix it so let's maybe take this up by one let's get some uh, let me see here where would we have so we come up here we have this layer so i guess i would have this over here like that slab just to give it a little bit more headspace and a railing one and two and a railing all the way across over here as well because why not one more thing we could do if we just go downstairs over here we could maybe even carve out like a like a window over here not needed i guess but it would be a possibility if, in case you won't have more light but let's not let's just keep it as it is so ladies and gentlemen this is pretty much the house interior like i'm not gonna furnish it because i'm not really good at that but uh, let's just pretend we come in over here we could have a kitchen 
kitchen area, I guess. It's a hallway. You can have a dining area over here. Holy crap, I love this. This is really nice. Then here we would have like maybe a living room of some type and whatnot. Going like this is a bachelor pad, most definitely. Going upstairs, we have a little room on this side. And we have a room on this side with two huge balconies. One more thing I want to do. Let's go outside. Let's get ourselves. We, obviously, I'm going to add a pool as well. I'm not sure how long I've been recorded, but it kind of feels like rages. So I might do that a little bit off camera. I'm going to show you the progress, right? But let's get some trapdoors. Let's just get the normal oak ones. And let's place a layer going all the way up here to the top. Like so. And open them up. And I guess what we could do, just to add a little bit more of depth to this whole thing, we can maybe make one from this side as well. So for example, I would get those guys going like a so. Oh yeah! Oh yeah, behave. That looks really nice. Gives us a little bit more depth. We can maybe even do... Hmm. Let's think about this. Uh, this would be a thing, right? If I would just jump down over here. Uh, no, 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 no. One, two, and three, maybe? And let's do the same up here. Okay, this is this is tricky. This is tricky, -icky, but uh, we, we we're making it. Progress is being made as we speak. And uno mas over here. And open up sesame. Perfect. Ladies and gentlemen, I mean that is not a bad view. I do like that little shape over here. I do love that shape as well, because I mean seeing your car is not that fancy, right? Let's uh, pull maybe. Let's add a pull. Oh my goodness, I just cut the video and it's almost 26 minutes already, so you guys are gonna get bored. So we need to get a groove on this, alright? But it goes for the outside area. Let's use uh, the lightweight concrete and let's take it out by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 blocks maybe? Out like that. And that means the pool would be starting here, pretty much on that pillar as you see. And then we can go 1, 2, 3, that's 4 in total, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. Okay, that ends on that pillar. So that would be the, pretty much the pool, right? Let's see here. And that goes all the way to about here and ends two blocks away. And that ends over here and that turns around here. Okay, this is this is a huge pool, but it might work out quite neatly as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. So let's do that. And obviously we're gonna do pretty much the same as we did in the previous uh, previous house. So this is gonna be like the, the, the light gray uh, concrete. And then we can use cyan or light blue. I guess I'm just gonna go for light blue because why not? And then the bottom is gonna be light blue as well. Perfect. Yeah, semi-nice. And the rest of the area is just gonna be the, the the concrete powder, I guess. So yeah, let's dig some pool, I guess, and fill it with some water and whatnot. It's gonna take a while. Ladies and gentlemen, we have palm trees, we have pines, we have bushes, we have a pool, we have a jacuzzi. This is not too shabby. I did a little quick job just so you guys can get a rough idea on how it might look, I guess, in your own builds if you build this, but this is not bad. One thing, however, which we could do is this. If I just get this, uh, this glass, where does this come? About here? Nope, over here. We could maybe even make a shape out of it all the way to about here. Just in case we more, want more light in, inside. Something like so. How do we look? You know what? That is not bad. That is not bad at all. Perfect. So, yeah, this is uh, this is the house. We do have a little staircase. Hopefully we can even use it. Yes, we can use it. We have a balcony. This is, I guess I would have this as a bedroom of some type. Maybe even a window in the far end or whatnot. This is such a neat feature. Just having this whole like uh, glass roof with glass ceiling. It's like an aquarium. Okay, cage. One more room with a beautiful balcony overlooking. You might be about the corral. There's more houses. Yeah, then like copy paste job. and rotate it a little bit. Just so just we get a, a feel for different uh, settings when the, the sun hits the building. Like for example, this is the side. And if I go to this building, it's going to look a little bit different from the front. This is the one we built just a second ago. It looks something like that. Okay, the palm trees do hide away a little bit of the, of the exterior and the wall as well. But it doesn't really matter. I love it. So yeah, a little bit of bushes, garden, a little bit of lawn and whatnot. And it does transform to something quite quite neat. And the aquarium, man, the aquarium. I'm, I'm loving the aquarium. I haven't even used that in Minecraft before. So it's so cool just being, being able to do that. Where's the fishes? Huh, killed the fish. Oh, maybe a paste, a copy paste job to kind of remove those guys. Or maybe they die. Well, I guess if they die, you have free sushi forever, I guess, right? Let me just get uh, fishes over here. Okay, that's a, okay, that's maybe too many crowds. No, 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 no. Sushi is nice. 
Let's see. <laughs> yeah, this is this is kind of neat. So yeah, we do have this is a kitchen. I guess this would be a perfect dining area, and then we have the living room over here, opening up to the to the pool area. Ladies and gentlemen. I do really hope you get some inspiration. I do hope you build this. And if you do, please share share some pictures on my Twitter. And also make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, just to get some uh, some updates or notifications when new videos pop up. But uh, enjoy. Hopefully you got the inspiration. Hopefully you learned something. And hopefully you will come back and watch the next one, which should be maybe in a week because i'm off to gamescom on monday and today is what friday so yeah weekend with the family then off to gamescom but when i come back from gamescom oh baby we're gonna be back in full force thank you so much once again do hit the like button i am Kiralis. look at the eyes nothing but my eyes and um, i will see you guys in the next build have a very very nice day